education background is with York University in the philosophies. Uh, fitness has been always a part of my life, so I really wanted to gain some knowledge in the fitness world. So I got myself certified with CanFit Pro. Something that CanFit Pro has exposed me to is the impact nutrition has on our lives. And I find that's a big part of uh, the GRIP program here. My martial art background began when I was very young when I was first introduced to Bruce Lee in one of his films. Ever since then, I've had such a strong passion for uh, the lifestyle, if you would say. The reason I use lifestyle is because when I started Taekwondo back in 2001, I was introduced to the tenets of Taekwondo, which were courtesy, integrity, perseverance, self-control, and most importantly, indomitable spirit. Now, optimism is the best way to succeed and attain our goals. Bruce Lee once said something along the lines of, discard what is not useful, retain what is useful, but the thing is, add what is useful and unique to yourself. I competed in several Taekwondo tournaments which have taken place all over Canada. One thing I learned, I don't like to hit people because it could damage someone. Being a personal trainer, I'm not about hurting other people, I'm about helping and improving other people's lives. So I stepped back from um, that whole atmosphere and focused more on teaching and passing on valuable lessons and lifestyle choices that people can make. My education background in the philosophies has opened up my mind to the humanities, which is, you know, one love, which I like to refer to from Bob Marley, because I think we are all in the end, one energy, and inflicting negative energy is never good. I've come across so many people in my life with back injuries, knee injuries, obesity problems, and it's had such a negative effect in their life. And these people are close to me, family, friends, and people that I just met across my life. Once I completed and was certified in CanFit Pro, I realized I could take this knowledge and the certification to go out in the world and help people. I've seen Bodies by Design several times driving by Highway 7, and I always thought, I always see so many people coming here, so if I have this knowledge, <clears throat> why not try to apply myself here while I'm in school to help as many people as I can. I've been introduced to several clients here in the GRIP program that have made enormous body transformations, physically and mentally, participating in Chris's GRIP program specifically because he's came up with this idea, this concept where you have, you know, your, your training, which is consisting of 50% of your anaerobic and 50% of your aerobic exercises. Now, what I think a lot of other gyms and stuff are lacking, which the GRIP program has and is, you know, based on, is the nutrition program, using the fat secret application you can get your phone or any computer you have. I would say that 80% of uh, body transformation is going to come from your diet. Certain clients I've had have been over 200 pounds and they used the fat secret and the food logging like it was the Bible. They were religious to it and I noticed week by week pounds is just being shed off. Some clients I've had over the past few months that have been enrolled with me in the GRIP program have experienced incredible body transformations due to the fact that we do not only incorporate the physical aspect, the training aspect, but the nutritional aspect, which I personally think a lot of other gyms are lacking. Many of my clients have been losing, you know, pound, two pounds to eat. So this program is multifaceted. We do not just focus on the training or the physical aspect of uh, fitness lifestyle. What is really important, what consists mostly of our program is the food logging, which is gonna make 80% of that body transformation that many of us wanna attain. My advice to those people at home that may be watching this or thinking about enrolling into a gym or just want to make a general change in their life to feel better, I just say keep in mind, if you're lucky, you have 80 years, maybe less, to make those changes in your life because once that time is gone, it's gone.